Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I am Minister Jason Airwire Sneed, and I want to welcome you, yes, you, to the Greater Ecclesia Virtual Experience, where we bring to you the encouraging, the uplifting, and empowering Word of God, and whose builder and founder is the late Bishop Richard Sneed Sr. Amen. Make sure you're doing in this season the necessary things to keep you and your family from hurt, harm, and danger. Make sure you're washing your hands, make sure you're wearing your mask, and make sure you're practicing social distancing. Amen. Without further ado, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go. Praise the Lord, everyone. Please join me for a moment of prayer with all heads bowed and eyes closed. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for your goodness and for your mercy, O oh Lord God. Thank you, O oh Lord God, for keeping us, Lord, throughout this week, O oh God. O oh Lord God, we ask for your presence, Lord, in our very midst this hour, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, bless our services on today, O oh Lord God. Touch, O oh Lord God, all those that are viewing, that are hearing, Lord God, this telecast, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. For we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by your word, O Lord God. Let those who hear the message be moved today, O Lord God. Hallelujah. Whatever their situations is, Lord God, bless them, Lord God. Lift them up that have need even this hour, Lord God, as only you can, O God. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Continue to bless our work, O Lord God, in the ministry, Lord, that it may go forward, Lord God, and please you and do the work you have called and sent for us to do in these last and evil days. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray and say, amen. Lord, at this time, we want to just give you the highest praise, Lord, to exalt your name above every name. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord. And so we're grateful to be able to sing this song to you and you alone. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God.
Praise the Lord, everyone. The scripture for today is Psalm 46 and verse 10, and it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. May the Lord bless the reader, the doer, and the hearer of his word. Amen.
Praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Minister Alvin Hinch, and I'd like to thank you all for joining us for our Sunday service today. I pray that the word that goes forth, that it bless you tremendously. Um, today, our passage of scripture will be coming out of Joshua chapter 6, and it's dealing with the wall of Jericho. Saints, we have so many things in our lives that become walls that must come down. I pray that this word would touch you to let you know that God can deliver you the city. He can bring the wall down, but all you have to do is listen. So with that being said, we're going to start with a word of prayer. All heads bowed. Lord God, I thank you this morning, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for your goodness, Lord God. Lord, I just thank you for how you made a way, Lord God. Lord, in this day, in this service, Lord God, we're asking, Lord God, that you give us an understanding of the passage of Scripture, Lord God. Lord, that you work within us, Lord God, that your spirit, Lord, lead us and guide us into all truth, Lord God. Lord, we believe right now, Lord God, you're having your way, Lord God. Lord, you touch, Lord God, in this season, Lord God. Lord, we need you right now, Lord God. Bless the ones who are viewing it, Lord God. Bless their families, Lord God. Touch them, Lord God. Lord, let this word spark something in somebody's heart, Lord God, that they will want to come to know you, Lord God, in the power of your resurrection. In Jesus' name we pray and say, amen. Today, saints, I just want you to know that the, the topic is the walls must come down. The walls must come down. In this particular passage of scripture, we're going to be dealing with Joshua. And we're going to be dealing with the people of Israel. And we're going to be dealing with a wall of Jericho. This wall was fortified, saints. I mean, it, it was a wall that the average person just couldn't get past. They just couldn't get over it. But in this wall, God is going to show you how he can bring it down. We're just going to read a particular. I'm going to jump around in this passage of scripture in chapter 6 because there's a couple parts that I just want to bring forth. So I'm going to bring the very first part. He said, now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hands, its king and the mighty men of valor. You shall march around the city and all your men of war. You shall go around the city once. This you shall do six days. And the seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram horns before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the the city seven times and the priest shall blow the trumpet it shall come to pass when they make a long blast with the ram's horn and when you hear the sound of the trumpet that all the people shall shout with a great shout then the walls of the city will fall down flat and the people shall go up every man straight before him may the lord have a blessing to the reading of his word Saints, I'm going to tell you something. We have to listen to God if we want the walls to come down. If you're getting anything out of this situation of this passage of Scripture, Joshua is doing one key thing. He is listening to the Lord. Right now, we're dealing with so many different things. We feel like the world is against us as we go through this pandemic. We feel that people are not listening to the doctors. We feel that people are not listening to the ones who are educated in terms of this coronavirus. But I'm telling you, if you have a heart that Joshua has in this particular passage of scripture, it goes on to say that, and said to the people, proceed and march around the city. Let him who is armed advance before the ark of the Lord. So it was when Joshua had spoken to the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horn before the Lord advanced and blew the trumpets. The ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. The armed men went before the priests who blew the trumpets and the rear guard came after the ark while the priests continued to blow the trumpets. Now Joshua had commanded the people saying, you should not shout or make any noise with your voice, nor shall a word proceed out of your mouth until the day I say to you, shout, then you shall shout. So they had the ark of the Lord circled the city going around it once. Then they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning 
and the priests took up the ark of the Lord, the seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord went on continuously blowing the trumpets, and the armed men went before them. But in the rear guard came after the ark of the Lord, while the priests continued blowing the trumpets. And the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. So they did six days, but it came to pass on the seventh day and they rose early about dawn of the day, marching out of the city seven times in the same manner. On the day only they marched around the city seven times and on the seventh time it happened when the priest blew the trumpets and Joshua said to the people, shout for the Lord has given you the city. Saints, look at this particular passage of scripture. How did the walls come down? How did they gain the city? I'm telling you today, saints, that we as the people of God must wait upon the Lord. We must hear a voice from the Lord. It's, it's particularly for our best interest if we listen to the Lord. Is there a few things that I want to bring out on this? I want to talk about the wall. When we think in terms of the wall, it is a vertical brick or stone or structure that is enclosed or dividing an area of the land. Saints, when you're dealing with a wall in your life, what is that wall doing? That wall is hindering you from hearing from the Lord. That wall is deterring you from going where God has desired for you to go. Sometimes in our life, we create walls. Sometimes we create things that will block us from hearing or going where God wants us to go. Today, saints, I want you to come to know the only reason why Joshua was able to get past this wall of Jericho is because he was able to listen to what God was telling him. The key thing that you got to realize is that he was a man who listened to the Lord. Before they even got to Jericho, God came to him as a man of, of war, saying, if you listen to me, I will give you this land. Now, some people would say, man, I don't know if I want to listen to God. I don't know if I want to do all the things that God wants me to do because I want to do what? I want to do my thing. But I'm telling you, if you want the walls to come down, you must obey. You must be obedient to the will of God. One thing I've come to realize, saints, if I'm going to go higher in the word of God, I must listen. I can't do it on my own. I can't say that I'm going to go down and I'm going to be successful, but not listen to God. If I'm a man of God, then what I'm supposed to do? I need to listen. When we see in terms of sometimes we also determine, it, 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 sometimes the walls that are before us will sometimes determine how successful we will be as people or how far we will go in life. It goes on, and if we look at this particular scripture, he's dealing with a few things in it. He's dealing with hearing, he's dealing with following, and he's also dealing with faith. And what do you say by that? What do you mean by that, Minister Hintz? Well, it takes faith to listen. It takes faith to follow directions. Because sometimes we're going into the midst and we don't even know what may be around the corner. Sometimes we're dealing with things in our lives and we're asking our question, can I get there? I'm reminded of a situation when I first went ahead and went to school. I, I'll be honest, I was scared. I, I was leaving home. But I found myself in that time getting what? I found myself getting more closer to God, getting more familiar with God, getting to a point where I would pick up the word and I would ask God, what should I do? How should I approach this situation? How should I live my life now that I'm out here all alone? But I wasn't alone. God was right there. He says, son, you got, you're going to have walls. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have things that's going to prevent you. But if you want to take the city or take the thing that is before you, listen. Listen. Follow directions. 
man, I'm telling you, saints, when I think about Joshua, when I think about the kind of man he was, he was a man who said, I have to listen. Moses brought him in. He was, he was one of the ones that discovered the land, who saw everything. He was the one that was taking an understanding of what Moses was doing. He took the, he took the Ten Commandments. He, he put them in his heart. He, 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 was, he was a man who truly wanted to do what? Serve God and do the will of God. And to do what? To bless his people to know that if they follow the directions of God, they can have anything. Today, we see it, folks. We see it in all aspects of lives that people have wall. People have things that are hindering. But I'm reminded of a scripture in Acts chapter 1, verses 4. And Jesus was saying, wait. 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 Something's going to come. Something's going to come and it's going to give you power on high. But I need you to wait. Same thing Joshua did. He waited. They went around for six days. They walked around. 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 They waited. They waited. Till when Joshua said, then shout. On the seventh day, what did they do? As the trumpets, as the as the trumpets were going up, as the priest and the Ark of the Covenant was going around the wall of Jericho, they began to do what? They began to shout. They began to follow the directions. Saints, God is calling you to follow directions. If anything you get out of this passage of scripture today is about following directions and allowing God to work within you. Today, saints, we can do the same thing if we allow the Holy Spirit to work within us. When I'm talking about that particular passage of scripture, saints, I'm talking about things that God said. He said, I'm going to give you power. I'm going to give you something. But I'm reminded of another passage of scripture and Psalm. It said, be still and know Be still and know that I am God. Be still, saints. Be still. Be quiet. Listen. It is time for us to listen. It is time for us to listen because God wants to work with you right now. God wants to touch your heart. God wants to go further and further in your life. But you have to be willing to listen. You have to stand still. You have to stand still and know your salvation comes through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ went to the cross to do what? He came that you might have a right. Today I'm letting you know that the Holy Spirit can do the same thing in your life. It can bring down the wall. but you have to be willing to let it go forth. Let's go back. I'm, let's go to that particular passage of scripture that I talked about. Saying it talked about it. It said in Acts chapter, in chapter one, verses four. It said, "But being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me." For John the Baptist truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Think about it, saints. Sometimes we have to wait. We have to wait for the allow the Holy Spirit to work within us. Joshua waited. He waited until the time that the Lord told him on the seventh day, I want you to shout, shout, shout. We're going through a situation right now. We're going through a trial and test. As we go through this pandemic, knowing that God will bless you, he will bring down the walls of things that held you back, divided you from coming to know God and the power of his resurrection. If anything you could find out today in this message, I want you to know that the walls can come down. The walls can come down, but you have to be at the point that you are going to wait. You're going to wait to hear a word from the Lord. Think about it, saints. He said, he said, but it came to pass on the seventh day. They rose early about dawn of the day and marching around the city seven times in the same manner. Sometimes you're going to have to wait. Sometimes you're going to have to wait and continue to do the same thing over and over for that very thing that has held you down. Sometimes you're going to have to wait your turn. 
You're going to have to wait. Sometimes people say, well, I don't want to wait. No, you're going to have to sometimes go through the process of whatever you're faced with. But I'm telling you, if you do like Joshua did, if you do like the disciples did on the day of Pentecost, when that victory comes, when that Holy Spirit comes to save you and bring you out of all of the struggle that you're going through, you're going to be saved. Saints, I was in the same predicament. I never forget it. I, 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 was, I, was a, I was a young man out of high school going to college. I had to do what? I had to wait. I had to wait. I had to allow God to really work within me because I'm going to tell you, saints, when you're out in that world, you need something. You got walls that's coming up and you don't even know it. You got things that will come your way that will hinder your process. But I'm telling you, if you take the time to allow God to put his spirit in you, if you allow to do like Joshua did, he allowed when he was anointed by Moses, he allowed God to work within him. Understand when we see that stuff in the Old Testament, that's a foreshadow to what's to come. What came in the New Testament was what? If you wait, I'm going to give you power. You need power. You need power for the walls may come down in your life. You want the walls to come down. The walls didn't come down in Jericho just because the people just did their own thing. The walls came down because they listened to the man of God. The man of God listened to God give them forth a plan. Today, saints, what is the plan that you're going to bring those walls down? What is the very thing that you're going to use to bring down the walls? Lord, I, 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 I know how some of us get. We get to the point where we feel like, oh, man, it's, it's, it's going to happen. But, I, you know, I, I got to do it my way. But I'm telling you right now, if you want to change in your life, you got to let God in. You got to allow God to be that wall breaker. You got to be, you got to allow God to come in to loose those chains. You got to ask God to push those stumbling blocks out the way. You got to allow the Holy Spirit to work. We're in a season right now, saints, where people don't want to wait. People want to run on out there. People may not have their vaccination. People may not be wearing a mask, but they're just running on out there. They ain't taking the time to listen. They haven't taken the time to be disciplined. They just said, I, I got to have it my way. If the children of Israel would have ran into the promise and just did it their way, guess what? They would have never possessed the land. Even though God said the land was for them, they still had requirements. They still had to bring up what? They still had to bring the ark with them. They still had to do what God intended for them. I'm telling you right now, if you're going to succeed in today's life, you must ask God to fill you with the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, you're saying why I say that? Because I'm telling you, you're going to need something to help you. You're going to need something that's going to help you to get past those walls, those very things that hinder you. But if you do like Joshua did on that seventh day, on that day of completion, on that thing of perfection, on that seventh day, something about that, that, that number seven. God does something on the seventh day, don't he? God does something on the seventh day that's going to change. Hallelujah. I thank God for his Holy Ghost. I thank God for everything that he's doing right now. I know somebody right now is viewing this stream right now. And they're wondering how God's going to work on their behalf. But I'm telling you, if you listen, if you open your ears, if you allow the Holy Spirit to work, if you allow it to extreme, um, get bigger in your life, let it just get bigger in your life, God's going to work on your behalf. Hallelujah. I know I, I, I'm reminded of a passage of scripture. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I've never seen them begging bread. He said, you got to have a heart. God, David said, if he said, if I don't have the right, renew the right spirit within me. Today, we need the spirit to be renewed. We got to make sure that our heart is right. We got to make sure that God is dealing with us in every aspect aspect of our life. If you're going to make it, you got to listen. Hallelujah. You got to be disciplined. You got to allow the Holy Spirit to rise up in you. Let the Holy Ghost rise up in you. I told a man told me years ago, if you give your life to God, he'll do you better. If you give your life to God, he'll work on you. If you let God be the leader, you got to walk by faith. You got to believe that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. It's time, saints. It's time for anybody out there who may not be a saint. It's time to go down. It's time to be baptized. It's time to be filled with the precious gift of his Holy Spirit. It's time to know him in a personal way. It's time to get to know God. God truly wants you. God really wants you so much you just don't know. Hallelujah. <coughs> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God is doing it right now. When we look at this particular thing, 
God, God, he hates sin. Hallelujah. God, he just wants you to be faithful. God wants to put you in a position. In the lesson of Joshua, you come to realize that God wants to demonstrate his Holy Spirit. He wants you to know that you cannot be independent from God if you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. If you're going to be blessed, you got to allow him to be incorporated in everything that you do. This book provides us the valuable lesson, the principles of leadership, but the leadership of God in your life. Hallelujah. It goes on to say, if you don't do it, you'll find yourself in a place where you don't want to be. Hallelujah. But Joshua was able to be victorious because he allowed God to stretch out in him. He allowed God to move in him. He allowed God to do it because he knew the word was powerful. It was miraculous. We deal with signs, miracles right now. Are we dealing with signs? Signs and miracles because God can do it. God did it. He didn't use his, he didn't use his muscles. He asked the people just to go around. Think about the, how vulnerable they were when they went around that wall. Think about how vulnerable they went when they went around that wall. The people could have just went down and threw stones, but God said, no, you follow my directions and the walls will come down. Saints, I thought about my own self when I was when I was out there and I had to realize that I had to allow the Holy Spirit to work within me. Hallelujah. I had to allow God to work within me. Hallelujah. I had to allow the Holy Spirit to work within me. Hallelujah. It started to stretch out in me. Hallelujah. Lord, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit working on my behalf. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you want the walls to come down, hallelujah. If you want the things that very kept you out of the places that God intended for you, the things that were stumbling blocks, hallelujah, the things that will hinder you, God is right here, hallelujah. He's here in this place. He wants you to go to know him. He wants you to come down the aisle. He wants you to go down and be baptized and be cleansed of all unrighteousness. And then guess what? What? Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. If you don't know anything else from this lesson, you got to wait. Sometimes you got to wait for the Lord to do the work. And when the Lord does that work, every wall, every hindrance, everything that kept you from where God desired from you will be moved out the way. And guess what? But for the Lord has given you the city. The Lord will give you the city. Hallelujah. As we close out, it may be somebody who don't know Jesus. It's your time. It's somebody who may not know about his love and kindness. It may be somebody who wants to know him. Here at Greater Ecclesia Temple, we're here for you. You can drop a line at our Facebook page. You could drop a line on YouTube today. Let us know how we can be a blessing to you. I just ask that God bless you in this season. And as we close out, I'm just going to finish it off with a word of prayer. All heads bowed. Lord God, whoever may be viewing this stream right now, Lord God, Lord God, they may want to come to know you, Lord God. We're praying that they come down, Lord God, that they be born again, Lord God, that they receive your power, Lord God, that they be baptized, Lord God, and be cleansed of all unrighteousness, Lord God. Lord God, we have walls, Lord God. We have things that keep us from going where we desire to go, Lord God. But Lord God, I'm reminded of you, Lord God, if we keep your word, Lord God, if we allow your spirit to rest in us, Lord God, in us, Lord God, we will make it, Lord God. We will be who you called us to be in these last and evil days. In Jesus' name we pray and say, amen. Amen. Thank you again for joining us today. And now, here are your announcements.
Amen, amen, amen. The walls are coming down. I'm going to say that again. The walls are coming down. Oh, Lord, I have mercy. Is there anything in your life, any walls in your life that you need the Lord knock down? Say, Lord, knock it down for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Let us end it out. That was what a word. Let us end it out. Repeat these words after me. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, we thank you for being gracious to us, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for knocking down the walls, the obstacles, Lord God, in our lives, Lord God, that we may be able to go out and conquer what it is you have for us. Lord God, thank you for every day keeping us and keeping us in your will. And so your wonderful name, we pray and say, amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Hey, and enjoy the rest of the day. And I'll see you, yes, you, next week. Bye-bye.